education. That's the big answer to everything. Education. They say we need more money for education. We need more, more, more books, more teachers, more classrooms, more schools. Uh, we need more testing for the kids. You say to them, well, you know, we've tried all of that and the kids still can't pass the test. They say, oh, don't you worry about that. We're going to lower the passing grades. But there's a reason. There's a reason. There's a reason for this. There's a reason education sucks because the owners of this country don't want that. I'm talking about the real owners now. The big, re the wealthy, that, the real owners, the big wealthy business interests that control things and make all the important decisions. Forget the politicians. They're, they're, they're an irrelevant. The, the politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. You don't. You have no choice. You have owners. They own you. They got you by the balls. They, they spend billions of dollars every year lobbying, lobbying to get what they want. Well, we know what they want. They want more for themselves and less for everybody else. But I'll tell you what they don't want. They don't want a population of citizens capable of critical thinking. They don't want well-informed, well-educated people capable of critical thinking. They're not interested in that. That doesn't help them. That's against their interest. This is Truth Don't Sleep. Welcome to today's video with my brothers and sisters here. Today, I just want to talk about the school system. I was going to think about exposing something else, but you know, um, since I recently got that strike, you know, I, I guess I could go a bit into this something that a topic that's much more, I guess, watered down in a sense, you could say that. But um, here today, I just want to talk about the school system and how the elites are the ones raising your children in these schools. All right. So basically how this starts out is that you have the two parents in the working system. Right. So you got basically the mother, the mother in the um, and how it's basically taking care of the children. That that's basically a stereotype that many people um put that into. But um yeah, basically the mothers in the house taking care of the children, or the fathers in their job um uh, working in the office or whatever um manly job they can handle. But um since you have the two parents in the school system, the child is in the school, and who's raising the child in the school system? The government. They don't learn about how. Everything that's taught in the school is just useless. How everything goes against God in the Bible and what it teaches. Because basically in the word of God, it teaches you how, how you can earn salvation from Christ. And teach you a bunch of lies that don't even matter. A bunch of stuff like FDR, George Washington. I mean, all these guys were Freemasons if you just do your research, you know. And basically learning about all these lies and many agendas are being pushed through these school systems, like Time's Up, you know, and I, and I basically experienced this at my age, um, that I am now um, being in the school system since last year, um, like two years ago, that was, I was in high school. Um, all these agendas were being pushed in the schools, all right? All these agendas to tolerate, whether it's rainbows and unicorns, I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about, but I can't really say because, you know, bots will get me. Whether it's Racial division. All these agendas are being pushed from the news to the children, and they're tolerating this, you know. And and when you talk about toleration, you know, um, and in terms of disagreement, you disagreement doesn't count as hate because you know we're human beings. We all have different opinions, you know. Whether it's two kids fighting over a toy because they don't have they have different different opinions, they don't really have same viewpoints because that's who we are. That's who, um. God made us, you know, we were all made equal, but in a sense, they always push this, whether it's racial division, whether it's divide and conquer, which goes in the same category, they make this illusion that we are not equal. They make this racism nonsense that divides the people and actually puts the Antichrist into system later in the years to come to prepare us for the Antichrist. So basically here you got a, um, a verse, um, Romans 12, chapter 12, um, verse 2. She says, do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to, te to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. All right, so right there, what that verse is saying is that you don't want to be conformed as his world. Because, you know, um, we live in the world, but we are not of it. We are of God's children, I should say. Those who do the Father's will are his children. But, you know, you don't want to be conformed with this world because... All this, basically in the society we live today, is just a bunch of butthurt fans, I should say, and butthurt, you know, zombies who can't really think critically. And when you talk about that, when you put that into context, we the school system doesn't have 
the children the children learn all this useless crap that's being taught at school um i mean i ask you this which one weighs much more jesus christ or george washington which one's more important which one's going to lead you to the truth which one is going to wake you up from this deception of of the of reality we live in because we live in the matrix we live in a world that people don't really think critically anymore um when you're talking about the school system which i am talking about now you don't have the children um asking like critically thinking being in the alpha state um teachers regurgitating the same crap out of the mouths 24 7. you don't think critically you don't question what the material that they're teaching is like why is this important why am i learning this how is this going to help me in my life because you know we don't no one knows when they're going to die and you know the only thing that should be taught in this world based on the education because it goes against what god teaches it goes against how self how by having faith in Christ, you you have the the gift of eternal life. So you learn all this useless crap that's not gonna help you in your life and just gonna lead you astray. Because I've been led astray before many times, and you know, I thank God that I uh, I have eyes to see and ears to hear. And I thank God that you guys are along with me and you know agree on certain topics that that I have. But you know all this useless crap that got that these children are being brainwashed into it's an endless cycle so since the parents are in the workplace they've already been taught the useless crap that that their kids are going to be taught in the school system so it's a, a never-ending cycle you have the teacher you have the parents going through the same the, the same thing that the that their children are, um, are going to go through in, in the school system you have you have them teaching you a bunch of lies, and then when they have the children, and they already put the children in that um, certain curriculum, they're going to be taught those lies also. So it's an ongoing cycle of nonsense. So going back to Romans 12, 12, um, I actually, I'm sure I got taught, um, I just mainly the topic that I'm talking about, but um, going back to Romans 12, 12, you shouldn't be conformed to this world, but since we, are, we live in the world, we are not of it, all right? Those who do the Father's will, or his, or you are part of God's family. You already see it with the Holy Spirit. That's another topic for another day. But talking about Romans twelve twelve, you get conformed into all this nonsense being about um, having to tolerate all these agendas being put in place by the by the school systems, whether it's tolerating rainbows and unicorns or racial division certain agendas aren't really questioned in the school system but you shouldn't be trying to be like the world because you know the only one we should the only person we should be striving to be like is our lord and savior jesus christ because he's the only one that's going to save us from hellfire he's the only one that forgives us from unrighteousness forgives us from abominations called sin he's the only one that's going to heal you from from and 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 lead you to the truth all right so don't get conformed into this nonsense that's being taught in the school because it you know i'm at a point in my life where like you know i'm being it's like you're forced into the school system because you learn a bunch of nonsense that doesn't even matter and you know my family is always you know oh, abraham you have to push yourself more and more yeah i understand that but at the same time you know i'm not as lukewarm as you are i'm awake and i thank god for that i'm glad i got um, fellow family members like you but i'm awake understand what the school system is doing to our children all right they're teaching you a bunch of lies a bunch of nonsense that doesn't even matter you know and that that's the important thing you you need to understand this you need to clearly think in the world full of lies you know we told lies from the beginning first grade you know a bunch of like why does this why does it why does this stuff matter like how is this gonna help me in my life you know, no one knows when they're, when they're gonna die, and the real test is is right now because we're living in the last days. So I hope you guys understood what I was trying to say. Hope hope you guys have a good day in the name of the Lord. God bless you. All. I bless you all and your families. Take care. Have a wonderful day in the Lord.